Hello everybody. This is Michelle Littler with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, February 27th, and I am here for your weekly Facebook Live. Um, so I know it is 4 o'clock Eastern Time right now, and I'm a little early. I normally go live at 8 p.m., but um, tonight I have a card class. Actually, it's not a card class. It's a home decor class from 6.30 to 8.30. So I know the time was going to be off, so I thought I would hop on this afternoon and I would go live now. Hi, Laura. Hi, Maria. So um, I'm just um, trying to find this real quick on my phone and we'll go live. I have three cards to show you today and a little, um, kind of like a little doggy treat. And I actually tried doing these projects um, a few weeks ago and it was a complete snowstorm and the inter the broadcast kept getting interrupted and I was going to refilm this and post it on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Owl Star Stampers. And I, I never did. So I thought, okay, great. The only way I guess I'm ever going to share these projects with you because most people couldn't see or the connection was so terrible um, is just to do it again. So I'm going to show you those projects today, but I do have a new card to show you as well. So if you did catch bits and pieces um, before, um, you'll see the full thing now and also a new card. So I do have a host code. I know February is almost over. So here's the code for February. If you'd like to do any online shopping out of here or um, earn some celebration items, um, go ahead and use that host code when you place your online orders. And um, I can send you a thank you card. And if it's over $50, I usually I will send you a little um, thank you gift as well. Um, okay, so I have some cute cards to show you today. There's a little sneak peek and a little treat. So I'm going to um, flip our camera down and get started. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Jean. Um, hi, Carol. I see Colleen just hopped on. So I'm excited to have some friends join me today to stamp. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so our first card that we are going to make, I have my little bin of projects right here. Um, again, we're going to be featuring the Happy Tales stamp set. And it has a beautiful, uh, not beautiful, super cute dog punch. So this you can get together. And I'm going to show you where it's at really quick in our catalog. It is on page, this is the occasions catalog. Um, here it is on page 33, and it is, for both of them up here, you get a 10% discount, and it is only, if it would focus, $31.50. $31.50 for the punch and the stamp set. The stamp set is 17 by itself, and the punch is 18 So the, this bundle is very affordable, and if you add on some cardstock and ribbon, you'll be up to that $50 mark, and then you can earn a free celebration item. And don't forget, um, they released a celebration round two, so there's a few new items that you can earn for free as well with celebration. So for this card, I'm going to be using powder pink, and crumb cake, uh, crumb cake ink, and um, let me just get these going here. And um, I also am using the Be Mine uh, framelits, which I thought I had in here and I must have taken out, but they're the heart framelits. And so I wanted to show you that you can use them for more than just Valentine's Day. Um, so, okay, here's all my um, paper. So I just started out with a piece of Thick Whisper White, and it is 11 by 4 and a quarter. And yes, hi everybody, thank you for joining me and hopping on um, this afternoon. Yeah, be sure to say hi 
and uh, share if you wouldn't mind sharing that. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can um, like and share it there as well and subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. I would appreciate that. Um, I do have some red rhinestones I'll be giving away for um, today's video. And I didn't post, but somebody from last week will win these um, Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. So this is for last week. Um, again, I didn't pick yet because I'm going a little bit early, but I'll post that. And then this week I'm giving away the red rhinestones. And I'm going to be using red rhinestones today. So comment and share to get in on that. My next piece is a piece of crumb cake. And it's four and a quarter. Sorry, it's not four and a quarter. It's four inches by five and a quarter. And I embossed it in that subtle embossing folder in the Big Shot. I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks like linen. It's super, um, super pretty. And my next thing is this piece is two inches by four. And this is that um, tropical... Um, uh, the Tropical Designer Series paper. It comes in a six by six in our annual catalog. So we're going to layer this down and then I'll do a little bit of stamping with our dog. I'm gonna put this a little bit more towards the bottom and then I'm gonna take um, some petal pink and uh, white and silver twine. I'm going to wrap this around twice and tie a bow. And I already went ahead and I cut out this heart with those Be Mine Framelits in uh, powder pink. So we'll be using that as well to stamp, to stamp with. So I'm just tying, I'm just tying a bow off to the side. How is everybody doing today? Um, we're getting more snow today in Michigan where I live. Um, kids had school, but the roads are terrible. In fact, just like right by my house, there's been accidents all day long. They shut down the expressway. So we've had a really crazy winter the last month here. Um, I'm glad I haven't gone out today, but I do have my class tonight. So I'm hoping that everything will be good tonight. Okay, so I just wrap that around like that. And now we're going to attach this to our card. And then we're going to do our stamping and put this all together. Um, there is a new cat set in there. So um, if you aren't a dog person and you're a cat person, we already have a cat uh, punch in the annual catalog. And they came out with a new cat stamp set. And it's right next to, it's called Nine Lives, and it's right next to this bundle in that catalog. So you can, um, if you love cats, you can get the cat one as well. Okay, I need my stamp set. So I have my dog right here mounted, and I have my sentiment there as well. And so the sentiment I'm using, it says... Um, a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. And we're going to stamp that. I just have my little, my foam mat. And we're going to stamp that in powder pink. Okay. Shelly is watching from McDonald's. That's fun. Okay, so we stamp that. And next I just have a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm going to need the black memento. And I'm going to stamp the dog. And we're using the foam mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set. So we always recommend the foam mat when um, you can see through the stamp because it needs a little bit of cushion. So I'm going to stamp this dog right down here. And just like that. And then we're going to color him in with the Stampin' Blends. And I have crumb cake here, the light and the dark. And I'm going to color him all in with the light. Um, Shelly, I'm so happy you can come tonight. And just so you know, I will be at my studio at, um, at 6. So you're welcome to come in at 6 o'clock if you are there then. 
uh, she's coming to my home decor class tonight. So, um, I usually get there a little bit early to set up, but um, you can even probably get started a little bit early too if you want. Okay, so I'm coloring the whole dog with my light crumb cake. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to go in and give him a little try to give him a few highlights. Now these Stampin' Blends, I talk about them, I use them, I love them, I can't say enough good things about them. Um, you just need them in your life. And if you don't own any, which, oh, I can't believe that if you don't own any. But if you don't, you can actually like get the starter kit and pick out a bunch of blends because you get $75 free. Um, if you're not a demonstrator already, you can join my team. And uh, remember, it's $99. And you pick out 175 in free products. And if you want that cute bag, it's 129 and you still get 75 in products. So it's a great time to join. And these blends are awesome. So they're um, something that if you don't have, you might want to. So I'm just going over a little bit, um, a little bit of these areas just to give them a little bit of highlighting. And I could have done that with the dark crumb cake, but I'm just going to stick with the light. And now we're going to punch him out. So what all you're going to do is turn your punch upside down and you're going to stick this in and we're going to line it up um, just like this. And I love the blends too. I saw um, Jennifer just said she loves them as well because they are so easy to blend. I have never used any other alcohol markers on the market. I I haven't, so I can't compare them, but I have a ton of customers and friends who have, and they have all said and converted to ours, and I'm, I'm not making that up. That is the honest truth. Um, they just said they're so much easier to use and to blend than the other ones, so, um, so I just thought I would share that with you if I haven't yet. So I just have some dimensionals, and I'm going to put that on the back of my heart and put this on here. And then the last thing I did is with that same framelit, the Be Mine with the hearts, um, you are going to cut out with the Sparkle Glimmer Paper. I have my dog right here, and he's gonna get a couple dimensionals. And again, if you don't want a crumb cake dog, if you want a white dog or a black dog, or they even have like spots, spots in there you can make your dog spotted you can color him or make him any kind that you would like so this is going right here okay Kimberly says the blends are the greatest thing ever so yes they are but I went through and I cut out with this same framelit this heart piece and then these little hearts um where I'm going to actually use and stick some on the card so let me pop a few of those out. Um, here's one. And I'm just going to use my favorite mini blue dots. And then we have this card done. So I wanted to show you if you purchase these uh, heart framelits, um, here is a way you can use them for a non love or Valentine. But I like hearts just year round and to use them for just anything and everything and for wedding and baby and just all the time actually. Okay, so there's our card, what do you think? Here's our first card and it says, a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. So here's card number one and here's my original. So, okay, now we're going to move on to a, a new card, and here it, it's going to be um, with navy blue and crumb cake. So I don't need this, and I do need navy blue, which I need to get, and here is my packet. Wait, I don't need navy blue. What am I thinking? Um... Okay, so we're going to need, we actually don't need this stamp. We're going to, um, okay, here we go. So 
I have crumb cake that is five and a half by eight and a half, and we're going to fold this in half. And then I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is four by three, and a piece of the wood grain designer series paper, my favorite paper like ever. It comes in a six by six, um, and that is also four by three. So what we're going to do, oh, thank you for sharing. I do have a pack of red rhinestones to give away too, is you're going to take the Knight of Navy and you're going to slip it in your punch um, all the way down. So mine won't go down any further, and I have it kind of centered, and then you're going to punch this out. And you, we don't actually need these pieces, so you can save them for another project if you want, because um, we're not going to need them, and it's going to come out like this. And then um, what I am looking for is my stamp. Um, we're going to use the stamp that says Rough Rough. So we're going to be using um, this stamp right here and then the paw print right there. So I do need to find that little paw print. Here it is. So we need that paw print too. Okay, so I went ahead and I, where did my circle go? I went ahead and I punched out a three quarter inch white. I punched out a one inch Knight of Navy. Maybe it's in here. It is one inch Knight of Navy. And then the one and one eighth inch crumb cake in the scallop. So those are my three pieces I'm using. And I'm just going to ink up the rough rough in crumb cake and stamp it on that circle. So we have it just like that. And now we're done with that. And then I'm gonna take this paw print and we're going to stamp a few of these paw prints on the background, in the background. So I'm just going to do one up here and one here, one over here. So you can do as many or as few as you like. Now I know the center, it's gonna be covered, so I'm not gonna focus on that area. Um, so I am, and if you're wondering why my Stampin' Matte looks a little weird, this actually came from, um, the case that holds your clear blocks. This you remove to actually put your block in, and this is actually a pretty decent size, so it's the same material as the, um, our Stampin' Matte, so I, I kept that to use that as well, so when you buy the clear stamp cases, you can, um, keep that. Okay, I think this looks good. Maybe I'll put a little one up there going off the page. So this is kind of what your background is going to look like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I used dimensionals on the back here. And I'm going to put them kind of around the dog like this. And then up one, up two up here. So I'm going to take this off and attach this here. So this should line up if I cut this correctly. So we're gonna line this up like that. So, see that? And now we're going to take our crumb cake. Um, this is like the classic weave ribbon in the annual catalog. We're gonna wrap this around the top and tie it. Thank you everyone for sharing and liking. Um, again, I have I have a fun little prize to give away and I'll announce tonight the winner from last week. I haven't forgot, I just, going live a few hours early, it has me thrown off a little bit. But I do, and I will get those out this week, the prizes too, because I have all the ones, all the people that won last week as well to go out. I'm home from my retreat, so I have time to go to the post office and get all those out. So we're just going to do that like that. And this is going to get put on our card now like this right here. And I put that down flat with some adhesive. Okay. 
Okay, just like this. I'm going to just kind of center it. And I can see, I can't see a little paw print down here. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and add one like that. So then to finish it off, we're going to take these little circles and layer them because I don't really want that heart showing. So you could have it showing. I just wanted to actually have some words. So I'm just going to layer these little circles together and then I'm going to cover that up. So this is going to go Oh, I popped it up. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back and then this one will go right right here like this. So here is our second card. And this one it just has a different wood grain in the background. So there's our second card. Now I have one more card to make for you. And um, it is going to be using um, Real Red. So I need to get out the Real Red. I need the basic black. And I'm going to need, um, what else do I need? I think that's it for right now. Okay, so this third card, what we're going to be doing is, this is real red that's four and a quarter by 11. And you're going to fold this in half. And then I have a piece of the celebration paper that you can earn for free with the $50 order. Remember it has like the butterfly, the botanical butterfly. So I cut this piece two inches by four, but on my original card, I did four and a quarter. So it went all the way to the edge. So you know what I'm going to do to fix that? Here's a quick little tip. Since I'm going to have something in the center, I'm actually going to slice this right down the middle because I did not mean for this. And I'm going to, and I want this kind of in the center. I'm going to put this here like that. And then I'm going to um, add adhesive to this side. And I'm going to um, figure out which, okay, this is the side. So I want I want to just make sure it's lining up. I'm just going to push it over to the edge like this. And now it goes to the edge. And this part will cover up the middle anyway. So you'll never know that I didn't cut it right. But if you want it to go across, it's four and a quarter by two. Um, my basic black is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I have Whisper White that is four by three. So this is a piece we're going to be doing some stamping on. And we're actually going to stamp the doghouse, which is right here. I'm going to be stamping the solid image in red and then the piece right here in basic black over top. And then we're going to stamp the dog and we're going to make him a Dalmatian with these spots here. So these are the stamps we're going to be using. Let me see if I can grab those. We need this one and this one. Actually, we need all of these. So, um, especially for this solid image, when you have these solid image stamps, it's so important to have the foam mat out. And I got my real red, and I'm going to be stamping the um, house off to the side here. So you're going to want to, now notice I'm tapping it, I'm not smashing it into the ink pad, because um, we don't want the block to get smeared with ink. Um, so I just lightly tap it a couple times, and it's all inked up, and it's not on my block, so it's not going to make a huge mess. And now I'm going to um, stamp this over here to the what side is this? Left side. I had to think for a minute. Okay, press down, lift up, and you get a beautiful crisp image. And I don't see, oh, my chamois is across the room. So I'm going to put that up there, and then I'm going to put on my uh, the outline of the doghouse. And we're going to be doing that in the Memento Black ink. So I will ink this up. 
this one up and try to line it up directly over it. So um, I'm going to pull it down. Hopefully my head won't get in the way. I can't. I have to have this completely over me to see. Perfect. Well, close, close to perfect. So there we have our little dog house now. And um, the next thing we can do since we're stamping is I stamp the sentiment, um, uh, keep calm and wag on. So I'm going to just put that on there and we'll just do that one. We'll do that one, that stamping right now as well. And I just did it up. I just did it up here, off to the, up here anyway. Okay, we're done with that. And while we're at it, we need a, we need a little bone that we're going to be using. And I'm just stamping that on a scrap, just like that. And then we need to do our dog. So where did I put, where did I put him? Because I said I didn't need him, and then now I have no Oh, here he is, just over here chilling. Okay, basic black or memento black ink again. And we're going to stamp him down here on this scrap white. Okay. And then, now here's the fun part, is I'm going to try to take those spots and line them up. So it looks kind of funny, but I'm going to stick them on my block and then they line up like this. I don't know if you can see that, but the best way to line it up is to try to line up the ear in the, like, right like right in here and then on the chest of the dog. So that's where you're looking to line um, those up. And this one that it, it kind of sticks up, this is for the ear. So I'm gonna move this down so I can see to line it up. It's always nerve wracking when you're on a live video trying to line stamps up. This would be great for your stamparatus. Um, I should have grabbed mine. Um, but there, I did it pretty good. So now we have a Dalmatian, and our Dalmatian needs a collar, and the stamp set has a collar. So we're going to stamp his collar in red, um, right across here. Okay, did I do it right here? So in there he has a collar. And now we can um, punch out our dog. Oh, I got a lot of stuff out here. Okay, let me kind of pick up some of this. All right, so my punch, so we're gonna slide him in, line him up and punch him out. And this is so cute because this has, I love that little heart, you can make lots of, um, you can use that heart for lots of projects. So if you didn't have the, on my first card, you could use these little hearts as well if you um, didn't have the heart framelits. But I did use that big heart framelit on the big one. So here's our dog. So we can go ahead and layer this together. So this goes on here. And then our dog is gonna get popped up on dimensionals. And it's gonna come. We're gonna put. I'm gonna put him right down here, like kind of like how the dog house is in the background a little bit. And then I'm gonna take that little bone, and we're gonna take our crumb cake marker, and we're gonna color that in with the light. And then you're going to. Um, Cut that out because there isn't a punch or a framelit, but that's okay. It won't take too long. So we're just going to, um, when you fussy cut, you just leave a little edge. And we're going to cut this little bone out and put that in front of his dog house. So 
My dog loves her treats and her bones. I'm sure most dogs do. Um, my dog is something else. I talk about her every so often, but she is a little um, Bichon, 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 little white dog, and she can get into so much trouble. She's only two, so she's still, I guess, a puppy still somewhat. Um, but, oh, she can be very mischievous. Her name is Pearl. Okay, so there's our little bone. And now we can put that down with a glue dot. Over here. And then we're going to bring in our card and use some more dimensionals. Okay. So I do have a little dog tree that um, that you can make too to give to uh, your pet or somebody else's pet. So this gets put right on here like this. Um, so here is our our third card, and now we have one more. Um, oh. We need to put a red rhinestone there. See, this is why I'm giving away red rhinestones. If you're commenting and sharing, you get to get put in for um, a full sheet of these. So I'm gonna take my red rhinestone and add it to the collar there. So um, just gonna put that little red rhinestone right there like that. So yes, I do have an embellishment to give away today. Okay, so that's our third card and now I have a little treat to show you how I made and I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but um, I will show you part of how I did it because um, I don't have any more of these dog bones um, so but we can show you how you did it. so these clear bags um, these clear bags are two by eight and we sell them in the catalog in the back by like our boxes and stuff like that. So these are the, these are Stampin' Up! And they come 50 in a pack for, I think it was 350. And then all I did is I took a piece of crumb cake that measured um, just under two inches. I think it was one and three quarter by, I don't know, if it's eight, probably like by six maybe. I can't remember. I don't have a ruler. And then I took that little paw print and I stamped in the background. So, and then I inserted it in the clear bag. And now I'm going to show you how I made the little tag. So you're going to take, um, take this little dog and you're going to stamp him on a scrap of white. And I just need um, his head. And then we're going to use the one and a half inch circle punch, one and a half. And we're going to punch him out kind of off to the, like off to the side there like that. And then I have a Knight of Navy uh, one and three quarter inch circle that will get layered on here. And I'm gonna take crumb cake and punch out a little heart with my dog punch. And I have a strip of, um, of this. So all I did to do this little tree is I colored in my dog crumb cake because that was just my color scheme. Again, you can color your dog or not color it however you want. Um, and then all I did is I'm making a little topper for your little treat. So um, you could give these away. Okay, so then I used a dimensional on the back here. And I'm going to put this on here like this. And then I have, this is just a half inch strip of paper. And there's a cute little stamp that says, just for you. Fur, like F-U-R. And on my original, I used Knight of Navy. That's why I was thinking I needed Knight of Navy. I don't have it, so I'm just going to use basic black. Or I keep seeing basic black. It's memento. And I'm just going to, and I messed that up. So I'm going to do it again. Down here. 
It's like crooked on my block, so it's hard. Okay, so I stamped the Just For You and my scissors. I'm starting to get a huge mess now. When I stamp, things just go kind of everywhere. I don't know if that's just me or if I'm, I'm sure there's other people like that out there, but um, scissors. Here's my scissors. I'm just going to cut this at an angle and cut this. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for the heart to go there. And then I'm going to take my dimensionals. I'm going to snip a little piece off. Now again, the mini dimensionals would work perfect for this. I actually have some and I just didn't grab them. So I'm just cutting a little bit of the edge off and I'm putting this heart right there like that. And then we're going to take another piece of this. So the edge of your dimensionals, you never throw away. You can cut the, cut parts of it off and use it. Like this edge is perfect for these little banners. So that goes right on the back like that. And then we're going to put this um, across here like this. And there's your cute little tag. Um, what I did is I attached it to the bag with a dimensional just up at the top. And I um, tied it off with our Knight of Navy Baker's Twine. And um, that's just a fun little um, treat that you can make for your favorite pet dog in your life. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Let me um, show you again all four projects. And if you missed this or joined us in the middle, um, the recording will be here and this will be posted on my YouTube channel. So you can always check it out there. But here, here's what we made today. This, and we have these, this card, and we have um, this one right here. And then our first card, where did that one go? Here it is. Um, this card right here. So you can let me know if you have a favorite. Um, if you own the, if you don't own the Happy Tales uh, bundle, you can get it for only $31.50. It's a great deal. It's a really cute set. You can make super cute cards. Um, and it's very affordable. Here it is again. It's in the occasions. And what else do I have for you? Okay, so if you have any questions or if I missed your comment, um, I will go back through and I will answer you. And I have these to give away, so don't forget about that. Uh, next week, I don't have a class Wednesday night, so I should be back at my normal schedule time at 8 p.m. And I think that's it. If you want to order or do any shopping, here's our code for February. It's good just for the next few days. And I hope you've enjoyed these projects. And thank you for sharing and commenting. And if you would like to join my team, let me know. And I can help you um, go through that process. I had somebody sign up today, um, Alicia. So um, thank you, everybody. And have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you're in Michigan, stay safe and warm. Um, bye. See you next week.